Nathaniel Hook was an English historian. Life. He was the eldest son of John Hook, sergeant at law, and nephew of Nathaniel Hook, the Jacobite soldier. He is thought by John Kirk to have studied with Alexander Pope at Twyford School and to have formed a lifelong friendship there. He was admitted to Lincoln's in the 6th of February 1702. Caught up in the South Sea bubble, he sought patronage. He dedicated to the Earl of Oxford a translation from the French of Andrew Michael Ramsay's Life of Fainalon, London. Other patrons were Hugh Hume Campbell, 3rd Earl of Marchmont, Richard Onslow, 1st Baron Onslow, Francois Fainalon, Pope George Cheney, and William King, Principal of St. Mary Hall, Oxford. When Sarah Churchill, Duchess of Marlborough, required help with her memoirs, Hook was recommended to her. He accordingly waited upon the aged Duchess while she was still in bed. On his arrival she caused herself to be lifted up, and continued speaking for six hours without notes. Hook resided in the house until the completion of the work, which appeared in 1742 under the title of An Account of the Conduct of the Dowager Duchess of Marlborough from her first coming to court to the year 1710. Hook received from the Duchess £5,000. During his time with her she commissioned him to negotiate with Pope for the suppression, for payment of £3,000 of the character of Atossa, in his epistles. Owen Roughhead stated that the Duchess took a sudden dislike to Hook because he attempted to convert her to Catholicism. John Whiston, however, asserted that at her death she left £500 a year to Hook and David Mallet to write the history of the late Duke. It was Hook who brought a Catholic priest to take Pope's confession on his deathbed. Hook was also friendly with Martha Blunt, who left a legacy to Miss Elizabeth Hook. Hook died at Cookham, Berkshire, on 19 July 1763, and was buried in Headsaw Churchyard, where a tablet with a Latin inscription to his memory was put up at the expense of his friend Frederick Kirby, 2nd Baron Boston, in 1801. Works William Warburton described Hook as a mystic and quietist, and a warm disciple of Fainalon. Pope suggested that Hook and Kanye's Middleton were the only two contemporary prose writers whose works were worth consulting by an English lexicographer. Hook's Roman history, from the building of Rome to the ruin of the Commonwealth, suggested itself to him while he was preparing an index to the English translation of François Catru and Pierre Julien Rouli's Roman history. The first volume was dedicated to Pope and introduced by remarks on the history of the seven Roman kings, occasioned by Sir Isaac Newton's objections to the supposed 244 years of the royal state of Rome. The second volume is dedicated to the Earl of Marchmont, and to it are annexed the Capitoline marbles, or consular calendars, discovered at Rome during the pontificate of Pope Paul III in 1545. The third volume was printed under Hook's inspection, but was not published until 1764, after his death. The fourth volume was published in 1771, edited by Gilbert Stuart. The whole work was frequently reprinted, the latest edition, in six volumes, appeared in 1830. Other works are Travels of Cyrus, with a Discourse on Mythology, London, 1739, translated by Hook from the French of Andrew Michael Ramsey. Observations on I. The answer of M. Labbe diverted to the late Earl Stanhope's inquiry concerning the Senate of Ancient Rome, dated December 1719. 2. Our dissertation upon the constitution of the Roman Senate, by a gentleman, published in 1743. 3. A Treatise on the Roman Senate, by Dr. C. Middleton, published in 1747. IV. An Essay on the Roman Senate, by Dr. T. Chapman, published in 1750, London, 1758, dedicated to Speaker Richard Onslow. This work was answered by Edward Spellman in an anonymous pamphlet entitled A Short Review on Misty. Hook's Observations, 1758. William Bowyer published an apology for some of Mr. Hook's observations concerning the Roman Senate, London, 1758. 
six letters to a lady of quality, upon the subject of religious peace and the foundations of it, first printed in, the contrast, or an antidote, against the pernicious principles disseminated in the letters of the late Earl of Chesterfield, two vols, London, 1791, and issued separately in 1816. The manuscript was given by Hook to the widow of George Berkeley, who presented it to the Rev. Sir Adam Gordon, Bart, the editor of The Contrast. Hook revised Thomas Townsend's translation of Antonio de Solis's History of the Conquest of Mexico by the Spaniards' family. He left two sons, Thomas Hook, rector of Burke, B. Disambiguation needed, and vicar of Leek, Yorkshire, and Luke Joseph Hook. His daughter, Jane Mary Hook, died on 28 April 1793, and was buried in Headsaw Churchyard.